hello everyone today i am going to tell you that uh, i am going to do a little experiment on the medium of uh, seed growths which which we prefer to take so usually i have been telling you to mix the compost the soil the sand and the coco peat into one and then grow the seed today what i am going to do i have taken these three glasses one has this mix of soil and compost in this the other glass this one has full complete sand there is nothing except the beach sand and in this glass this is the lightest one and i have only coco peat in it so what i am going to do i have few dahelia seeds with them uh, with me so these are the dahelia flower seeds and uh, this is how they look and i am going to plant at least two of these seeds into these three glasses now just to mention there is no hole which i have created in these pots but which i should have done just for better drainage so i will make sure that i do not add a lot of water in these so i'll just pause and add water to these glasses or maybe i can just do it now this is my another way of uh, just checking out how it let's see how it works once it starts to grow i'll show you the results but uh, i hope you also enjoy watching this and do certain experiment at home so we will just add certain amount of water just that it gets in completely till the bottom now as you can see this has reached the bottom of the glass same thing i'll do to my other glasses see this has reached till the bottom of the water has reached till the bottom of the glass so i'll not add more more water to it but if we see the glass with the sand in it the water is is still in the still the center it is still not reached till the end i'll just tap it so that the water gets down and i'll start putting water in this glass of coco peat so this was faster the water has reached the coco peat from one side and the other side it is still to reach so i'll add more water to it so that from the other side also it reaches uh, the bottom so if you can see the water has started reaching down and the coco peat has started absorbing water even from the other side it is reaching to all the sides of uh, the glass only one small patch is left which is which looks dry so i'll just pat it down so as you can now see the water has completely reached down and this is completely soaked the reason why i have not added uh, the hole in the bottom is i am not going to keep this under shade i am going to keep this this uh, three glasses into full sunlight just to see the result and if you see this there is still huge amount of water at the top of the sand it is still not reached to the bottom so i'll just pause this video and keep it for some time so that once the Uh, water reaches the bottom then i'll continue and add the seeds to it so i have i have taken out these six seeds from the packet and these have uh, two, two seeds i'll be adding to each of each of my glass now this is the coco peat first glass coco peat glass second is my sand glass and third is my soil glass now as you can see all these three glasses have equal amount of contents in them so at least by adding water to these uh, three mediums i can say that the soil absorbs the most of water sand and the sand absorbs the least and coco peat is the second one so i had uh, the amount of add so water i had added was too much for the sand and uh, so i had to add some more sand to it to make it dry and to e equilibrate the water now what i'll do i'll take this stick 
I'll make some two holes in each glass and I'll add my dahlia seeds to these glass. So one goes in this, the other goes here. and I'll cover it up slightly with the cocoa peat. Now as you can see this has too much of water but don't worry I'm going to keep it in the sunlight so that this gets evaporated and maybe tomorrow onwards I can put it in shade. This is just an experiment and uh, if the results came successful I'll share with them and you can try as well. Now second is my sand glass, I will make two holes here then I will add my dahlia seeds to these holes and I am going to cover these up. With the sand. So as you can see the seeds are covered now. The third glass I am going to take is of my soil and compost. Now this also has too much of water. So first I am going to remove some amount of water from this. So that my seeds does not come drowns in it. Still there is too much of water. Now I will add my dahlia seeds to it and cover these up with the, uh, with the soil. I will share with you the results and once uh, I get the success I will share with you and in case I don't then also I will share the results with you. Hello everyone. So I am here with you to show the result of my glass experiment. So as you remember we took three glasses with different mediums, one with the sand, other with the soil and other with and the third one with the cocoa peat. Today is 11th of January and I had sown dahlia seeds in each of these three mediums on 5th of January. So almost six days have passed. If we see there is no growth in this sand glass and if I see the quality of sand it has become completely dry it has become completely dry and there is no retained of moisture so this was the worst medium this comes up as a worst medium for growing any seed now next is the soil so if I see the soil it is still slightly moist as compared to the sand but there is no result in this glass as well there should be some result but uh, Maybe it will take some more days for those seeds to germinate in this medium. Now third is this cocoa, piece, cocoa peat. So if you see these are, there is a small sapling growing. So two seeds I had uh, sown in each of the glasses. And one sapling is uh, already out and other would also be ready to germinate. So this, this experiment shows that cocoa peat is the best medium for germination of seed. So once this plant comes up to this height, at least uh, 2 inches, then I will transfer it to a bigger pot. For now, I will still add some uh, water to this and uh, I will let the plant grow and when it reaches a big, uh, it reaches a 2 inch height, then I will transplant plant it into a, into a pot and later after a few days I can keep it into, into direct sunlight. So we, we have the result here. And the winner is the cocoa peat. Next time when I, whenever I am going to sow my seeds, I will prefer sowing them into cocoa peat. I hope this would also add to your experience on gardening. Thanks for watching. Do like, subscribe, comment and let me know your results. Thank you so much.